Well, today what I'm going to be doing is seeing if I can upcycle these old jars using wool and resin. No idea how this is going to turn out. I haven't done it before. I've cleaned the jars so they're lovely and clean. I'm going to make two different methods. One where I wrap the wool around it and then soak it in resin without actually putting anything on the jar. And another one where I'm going to spray the jar using some mold release first to see how that works and whether I can then actually get it off the jar and see what that looks like. I'm using two different colours. I'm going to use a green, I've been told that's green, and a red. For this project, I'm going to be using the 4-hour demold by J Diction. And the reason is, I don't want it to be running off anywhere. This is a thicker resin. Also, it will cure up a lot quicker, which will allow me to prevent it getting all in turning into a puddle or something underneath. I think it may do that a little bit, but we can actually wait and see how that's going to happen. And I also don't think I'm going to need very much resin mixed up. Up. So I'm only going to mix up a small amount. Well, I've got my resin mixed up and I've poured a little bit in there and now what I'm going to do is unravel some wool. Now I'm not going to try and do it all in one length because I know that I'll get it all knotted up and make a real mess with it in the end. So all I'm going to do is pop some of that in there like that and then as I go along I can squeeze out the additional resin as I'm putting it on. The green one's going to be the one that's going to be put on the jar where I've already sprayed it with some mold release. See if that makes a difference. Just going to give that a quick mix round to make sure it's all nicely covered like that. I'm going to put a little bit on there in that part of the jar and spread that around a little bit. Squeeze that out as I go and then Pop that on there. And then all I have to do is keep going round this and keep wrapping it round all the way until I've got to the neck of the jar. I don't want to go further than the neck of the jar because if so, I will never get it out because of the shape. And I'll probably put two layers of this wool on the base as well to give it a bit more weight. Okay, now I've got to there. What I'm going to do is cut that off because that way if it all starts to unravel, it's only going to unravel up to where I've cut it off. And then I've got to go round and do all this again. And now I can start again here and start wrapping that round until I get all the way down to the bottom. Well, these have all cured up now and they've not come out quite how I expected. There is no way I'm getting this one off of here. And this is the green one and that's the red one. I mean, I think you can still see the difference. The only reason I didn't go right up to the top of this jar was because I was hoping I was going to get this off because I'd sprayed it with mold release. But... I can't. Now I think these need to be fancy smancied up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take some chameleon powders and some chameleon flakes and brush them on it. So I've got some chameleon flakes here. This is the violet. I'm not sure how well that's going to stick on there. Oh, it's sticking on quite well. Look, I'm just going to go and put that on there a little bit patchy all the way around the flakes. And then I'm also going to put some gold on there of the chameleon powder and see how that goes. And now I'm going to put some bright gold mica powder on there as well in different places. And then I'm going to do the same with this one and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Well now I've got those covered and I really think they've come out very pretty like that. I'm going to spray them with some seal and protect varnish. If you didn't want to do that you could actually put another coat of resin over them. But I'm going to spray them with this, give them a couple of coats and then I'll show you what they look like at the end and how I'm going to finish them off. Well, they're all finished now, and you might be wondering why I'm sitting in the dark, because I put some little lights in them, and they actually light up really, really well. I know my camera doesn't work really brilliantly for <laughs> when it's dark, but I actually like them a lot, and they do look quite pretty. I think they look nice at night over Christmas or a holiday or something like that. Or you could use them as a vase, and even with the top not finished, you could actually use it as a colourful jar to put things in. They come out really well. Better than the way I thought in some respects, but not what I had in mind. And that's the thing, even if you have something in mind and it doesn't work out, it doesn't mean it's not going to look great. Hope you've enjoyed this project. I've really enjoyed it. I love experimenting. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you've done anything similar. Be sure to check out the video that I've got coming up next, which is another great experiment. I learned a lot from this and I'm sure you will too. So be sure to check that out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.